starting a simple table of contents. I've developed this mocked up document in Word to demonstrate the feature of putting in a table of contents. You begin by using the heading levels and I'm clicking into the area that I want to be the highest heading level and when I'm on the home tab I then simply click heading level and that was a heading one. The formatting is built in you can change that later. I'm coming down to the area and simply clicking anywhere into that text and I need to find heading level 2 so I have to click that drop down arrow and here is heading level 2 which again uses the built-in format then I'm scrolling down to another spot where I have decided to put in a heading level 3 and notice how the ribbon bar kind of moved itself up I want to put in heading level 3 and there are lots of styles built in under there. I'm coming down to heading level 4 and I will, I don't see it here yet, oh no here it is, heading 4. Again you can change those um, styles but right now you can see how they're built in. And once I've done that let's assume I now want to put in a table of contents. So I'm just clicking to move that down. I want my table of contents to come in at this particular insertion point so I click there then I go over to the reference tab and in the reference tab in the upper left corner you're going to see the table of contents and when I look at the drop down there I see the options that are available there are some built-in table of contents and I'll just arbitrarily pick this first one if you don't see something you like there you can go down to the custom table of contents sometimes I do that and you get previews of how these will show up and supposing I want to go to something that doesn't appear there maybe I want to go to something more formal because that's actually a little bit more concise so once I've decided the type I want I click OK and it's automatically generated the power of using this feature though comes from when you add more information and need to update your table of contents. So notice that right now everything's on page one. Now I've mocked in some text so that you could just see the effect. And now let us update the table of contents. There are several ways to do that. One of them is I'm clicking on to the table of contents area itself and opening up the reference tab you can see that I can update the table from here so I'm just going to click this update possibility it prompts me whether I want to update the entire table or just numbers I always choose the entire table and when I click OK the numbers here have changed to reflect the actual page that these headings now are found on and this of course will save you a lot of time when you have a large document and have moved around text, the updating of the table simplifies your life tremendously and keeps it accurate.